Morning YouTube. Welcome back to the channel, Easy Riders. Um, no Rusty again today. He's still working on a on a kitchen project. Uh, he needs to make up a bit of time because he got got the squits uh, uh, and lost a week's worth of work. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be me again today. Um, plan to do a little bit of a spin, um, hopefully out to Castle Coombe. See how we get on. Um, thought I'd share with you some of the uh, some of the details of my Ribble e-bike. Um, yeah, so hopefully stop in a couple of interesting places um, and we'll have a look. We'll have a quick look in a second uh, in the garage before I leave. So here's the bike um, on my bike stand. Don't tell me off holding it in the wrong place. I know it's meant to be on the seat post, but this just always works easier for me. So this is my Ribble C-G-R-A-L-E, which I've had for uh, a while now. I think I'm coming up to probably about 1,500 miles on it. Um, really impressed with it. Uh, yeah, got the sort of uh, gravel setup on it. Um, I quite enjoy going down gravel, sort of uh, canal path type tracks. Um, but basically you can go where you want, which is which is good as well as the road. It performs well on the road. Um, got my little tool kit there. Um, this is the plug down here where the where you charge it up after, which takes a few hours. Controller here, which is dead easy to use, dead easy to use once you get used to it. Just sort of uh, push it on. Three settings. There's a sort of green, uh, orange, and red. Red being the highest. Um, and then as you ride in, it sort of moves back from that in terms of red green to tell you when the battery's wearing out but I've got the Malay app which I've put on my phone and just hook it up onto here uh, which is pretty good got a little bag on the front with inner tubes and uh, sort of GoPro -y stuff GoPro clamp there uh, yeah Shimano pedals I put on <clears throat> which are good I think they're mountain bike pedals uh, actually which I just seem to find easier to Clipping in and out. A um, little bit of wear on there from my shoes. I think that's normal for a cyclist. I've just got something great big feet. Bike's a bit dirty, but yeah, it's all good. That's the motor in the back there. Um, and this cable just down here, when you want to take the back wheel off, you just pull that apart. Dead easy, it sort of unclips from there. Pull that apart and then that allows you to disconnect the wheel, which is pretty good. So, yeah, and over there is the tank. So, the tank is my first e bike, which is a Kalkoff. I call it the tank because it's so well made and well built. Um, but it's my sort of driver Miss Daisy bike, mud guards, lights, panning a rack, which I put my work clothes in. So, I use that really just to go to work. Um, Big battery strapped to the uh, frame, and like the ribble, where it's nicely hidden inside the down tube, um, and a more powerful motor on this cow cough, so really fly up the hills. Much more powerful than the ribble, but obviously it's a completely different bike. So yeah, so I've got two e-bikes. Really, really good. I think it's got me out on the road and then there's a lot of people that take the piss out of me and work for having an e-bike but at the end of the day e-bike miles are better than no miles and if it weren't for that I would never have got out out and about during the pandemic hate hills hate headwinds and the e-bike sorts it out so sweet Miles in, uh, just stop for a quick drink. But just going to go down into Castle Coombe, which is a really picturesque uh, English village. So I'll try and get some of that on video for you. Beautiful day. Uh, 
staffs are out somewhere. Yeah, uh, quite a heavy route so far. So I've been on a lot of the battery up to now, about half, uh, no, about 35% uh, of you so far. So yeah, right, see if we can get the village in a minute. Three miles in. Um, just stop for another little drink. Uh, charge the iPhone up. So at the top of the banner down up here, the colder banner down, as they say in GCN. Uh, beautiful day. Um, I don't know if you can see this bloody mini stones henge bloody thing behind me. But yeah, just in the middle of nowhere. Pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm down to about 45% battery now. Again, it's a pretty hilly route this one, so I'm on it on the battery. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Bike's a bit muddy now. Thought I'd show you what I've got in my little tool box. I can do it with one hand. My little latex gloves, thought your hands getting crappy. Tire levers. Multi-tool, that'll be done. Uh, got a little, another little multi-tool thing. Uh, what else we got? Some more tire levers. Allen keys, some sticky patches for a puncture. Yeah, all goes in there nice and tidy. And basically in this one, I've got a couple of inner tubes. Uh, selfie. Selfie stick for the GoPro. Couple of inner tubes, as I said, in case you get the old puncture. Um, I think I've got another little set of puncture strips, uh, puncture stickers in there. Well, good, gotta say, pinch that bag shamelessly from Darren Phillips, Mendit Cycling Club. Cheers, Darren. Amazon special.
path, cycle path now through the railway. Seems to be missing the rain. It's wet underfoot. It looks like we've had a downpour here, but been lucky. <laughs> Mother's Day tomorrow, so just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mums. Sadly our mum's no longer with us, but happy Mother's Day to my good lady Jackie, who's a fantastic mum to my two girls, to my mother-in-law Philippa. Yeah, nearly home now. This bike's covered in crap, so I think I better give it a wash clean so I might film that for you if you're lucky back back at HQ so lovely ride that was um, I think I did 42 miles in about two hours 46 but there's quite a bit of stopping doing videos and what have you 2,200 feet of elevation average 15 miles an hour um, and I think I've got about 15 miles range left on the battery. So that gives you a sense of how far the, the battery goes. So go on, 40 odd, uh, 42 miles, pretty hilly. I think that's enough range for most people. So anybody that had that burning question about how far you can go on a on an e-bike, that's it. I've done 67 miles, uh, but that was more flat. But uh, yeah, so there you are. Gonna get a cup of tea and then I'm gonna clean the bike. Jubbly. Got the bike plugged in. So that's the power pack. And here's the little plug. And the lights on saying it's charging. And that'll be done in a two or three hours. Bike's nice and clean. The chain all nicely oiled up. Ready for the next ride. Thought I'd just show you some of the gear I use. Here's the bench. So these are my shoes. Giro, not particularly expensive. Cleats on the bottom, but they do the trick. Nicely vented, keep you cool. SIS water bottle off the Amazon. Lacole sunglasses. So I actually got these. 50% reduction. So, using the Love to Ride app, I did one of their challenges and you got 50% off anything at Lacole. So, I got those half price. So, they're a bargain. Uh, Endura fingerless gloves. Bit of padding on them. That's all my GoPro gear. Um, Santini, Santini sort of skull cap thing. 
when it's cold. Um, Altura neck thing. Also, also use it over my head sometimes. Um, sort of autumn -y gloves. I've actually put some liner gloves inside them and they're much better now. I'm wearing them through the winter so they're they're good. Pazer helmet adjustable inside so that's decent. That's a woolly hat. That's my uh Castelli cap for the summer with the peak on it just to keep the raindrops off if it rains. And what have I got on today? I've got DHB thermal leggings. They're decent for the winter. Not quite got my shorts on yet. Um, and then I've got a Castelli. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to do it upside down. A Castelli jacket. Again, fleece lined. Keeps you nice and warm. And in my back pocket, I have got a little Castelli sort of. Not waterproof, but just a wind cheater, uh, which is nice as well. Cool. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, hopefully next week, Rusty Nair will be back on the scene. Um, good luck to the Redmen in their next game. And yeah. Later. See you soon. Cheers.